So, what was that? What we can do to help you? What we can do to help is I got injured three years ago uh, during a lunge in the gym. I had my left leg out, was doing an upright row. I got injured, the injury cleared up. About a year later, I got re-injured again and I had lower back pain, an acute injury. I got rid of most of the back pain within about six weeks. And after that, I spent two years going to hundreds of chiropractors, osteopathic, doctors, surgical, neurosurgeon, you name it, I did it. And uh, I was told over and over again that um, it was various problems at various levels of the spine structure and stuff like that. I even had nine amalgam films, fillings m removed. Um, to try and see what the corrections hold and nothing did. So I saw your video mm -hmm. a couple of years ago on YouTube and uh, I just knew, it, I saw a guy getting his um, sacrum adjusted and I had pain down in the sacrum. It never really was an issue anywhere else. It just kind of, the pain always shifted. So it kind of spoke to me and I'm here today. Gotcha, so basically you saw every single person in Ireland, huh? Really, yeah. Oh, by the way, this is a uh, patient older from Ireland. Okay, and I, mean, I, had to, I had to travel quite a distance to get here, so that's how serious this ended up being. Yeah. You know? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look, see what we got. All right, so we're doing instrumentation right now. We're just looking for signs of inflammation, so which is swelling and also abnormal temperature. And we've got one here. Let's see what else we got. And I believe we saw another one, which is right there. Yeah, this is chronic. Yeah, a little bit right there. Right there. Little right there. Okay, so it's chronic. That's what we're seeing here. This is all pool of, of inflammation here. All right, all this edema is swelling. So let's see what we got. So you got that speed bump right there. So it's not that problem here, but definitely on here. Tell you right here. That's where the pain has been for the last couple of years, nearly like a screwdriver on the left hand side, exactly where you're pressing. Yeah, because it's swollen right at this yeah. sacral joint over here. And this sacral, second sacral segment is not happy either. Yeah, see, that's stuck. That's where it is. Yeah, that's where the problem is. That's what we're going to address. Yeah, we've got something right here. Yeah, see? Yeah. That fellow right there, that's stuck. Sit back, please. No, scooch all the way back. Scooch all the way back? Or come back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There you yeah. go. How's that fellow right there? It does not feel good in terms of a lot of tension on the right hand side there, just for your comments. Because I feel there's a lot of muscle tension and swelling on both sides. Right there. Yeah. <sighs> yep. Okay, so I see this long laundry list of stuff over here. Yeah. I get it. So other people will be even working on your seventh cervical, you know, they're working on your fifth lumbar, yeah. you know, and like and you also have some other issues that will like kind of help and not really help, yeah. and so on and so forth. So based on what I'm reading on here on this history, and thank you for this, this is pretty helpful. Okay. Um, it really gives me an idea that, yeah, you did something to your sacrum itself. All the tests are pointing out, yeah, you did something to that sacrum. Yeah. And to definitive proof, we got this problem right here. This one over here, I shouldn't see any gap here, but because of that second sacral segment, is so gapped open like this, yeah, swollen. That's the reason why everything else became unstable on you. Because we see on here, this isn't straight on. Right? Everything went towards this way, that way, this way, this way, and that way itself. So in essence, your whole entire spine steadily just did that. Mm. Okay, 
And we have another one curve over here. It's also twisting over here as well. So that can help explain why you feel all this tension over here. Yeah. But it's not really there. We have to adjust this first. We're going to retest, see what that's going on over there and retest this region here as well. Okay. So Another question was for the last couple of months, I have uh, been feeling like I have vertigo. Yes, I think my balance is okay, but I'm kind of, apart from the vertigo symptoms, it's nearly like I'm here, but not here. Mm. Uh, lack, and I know everybody goes from lack of energy and chronic fatigue and stuff like that, but no, it, it really, I'm walking around the street and I'm kind of, I'm, I'm here, but it's taking me time to catch up. It's mm. not like I'm living in my body, but not. I don't know. No, no, that's exactly what's going on over here because since this foundation over here became unstable, right? Well, what do you expect the center of gravity is going to do, right? Your body should say, hey, what is that? Where the heck did my center of gravity is? Yeah. It's the whole entire spine, in essence, it's folded like this. Yeah. And that's what it does feel like. Even right. if I'm to pick something up off the floor, it really feels like the whole time, my left leg, especially, I'm fighting for mm -hmm. to find center to stay Exactly. Right. Because the foundation just, you basically have the leaning tower pizza inside of you. Yeah. So because that foundation is so unstable, that's why right now, once Hunter Spine did this way, you have to keep in mind, you can't walk this way. Yeah. Right now, like sideways. So since your head has to be like this way, that's the reason why you see like over here, and it's over here, start compensating more like over here, and then finally the head over here. So you got so many twists going on over there. Got it. That's what we had to see was this first, okay? And then we're gonna take a look, all the other, all, all, all the other spots, see what it does for your bird. Perfect. That's right. No, that was a big one. Okay, come on up. Wow, I kind of felt it moving a little bit here as well. All right, cool, so what's different? I haven't got just a clue yet what's different because I was okay walking and stuff like that. I suppose the real test will be kind of just um, if I walk around and sit and kind of wander around a bit at the, at the, at the minute, you know. Um, Not a problem. So tell you what, yeah. on the following visit, give us an update, let us know how your vertigo and everything else come along. Perfect. Right, so Perfect. have a seat, let's check yes. everything else. Yeah. Maybe stop no pressure there. Let's see what's going on this neck and now we're not surprised. Yep, it's right there. Got it. the belly. There we go. Watch this little more. There you go. There you go. Very nice. Okay, what up? Now see. <coughs> Sit back all the way. Okay, relax the shoulders. Don't you? Okay, let it go. Let it go. Just relax a little more. Relax the shoulders. Get this little fella in there. There it is. Constant kind of uh, tension before nearly pulsating down. Hmm. Oh, right. You also mentioned your consultation. You used to have uh, fasciculations in your legs. Yeah. How's that coming along? 
Well, we kind of probably would have to sit down and watch them for a second before the start. You know, it takes a minute for them to get yeah. going, so I don't know if we want to That's if we want if we want to take the time to do that. Maybe we could edit it out. Well, we just corrected your load back there, so it may or may not show up at all. Nothing yet, but it wasn't just starting there earlier. We'll have to. There it is, starting slightly, if you can see it. Took a little close up there. Yeah. Oh, that's really subtle. It's like one. Yeah. Almost nothing there. Very, very subtle. Yeah, there's, um, and I don't know if the viewers can see that. It is very, very subtle. All right. Yeah, ever, ever so slight starting to move again. I gotcha. I'll have to see you. All right, Chen. So tell you what. Yeah. Swing by tomorrow. Okay. Let's do sort a of follow up and see how everything's holding up there. Perfect. All right. Thank you very much for your help. Hey, Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so give us the latest updates. How are things? Latest update since yesterday, since I saw my, my mid back feels uh, nice and free. Usually, if I drew my shoulder blades back um, on previous visits to chiropractors and this over the last two years, it would constantly have to reset. You'd hear like a crunch of noise. And the same, I always heard when I put my neck left or right. You always have a kind of a crunch inside in the neck. So all that is very free. Uh, I've regained um, a good bit of power back into my calf muscles before when I used to contract them, the contraction just nearly used to go into spasm. So there are the three main differences since yesterday. Okay, so what's um, left over? What's left over is I still have a kind of sciatic pain, as I would call it, kind of cramping, and it's kind of shooting and tensing into the calf muscle, and a little bit down the hamstring, um, not so much into the foot, but it's kind of there, okay. and uh, some low back pain. All right, that's yeah, it. still a work in progress. Yeah, right. absolutely. That's all. So this is good progress, so as we see over here, instrumentation, we're not seeing any reading so far till we get down right here. So it's a little higher than, than last time. See, this is clear. Right there. How's this fella right here? Yeah, it does, I don't feel anything on it. Um, see, this is a brick wall now. So, see this over here, that's your sacrum. And that's healing just fine. But this fifth lumbar, no. This isn't moving at all. This is what we need to correct this visit. All right. Okay, so here's the story with this one. So last visit we corrected that foundation. Looks like it's holding very well. Great. Now we could get to work on this one. Now that fifth lumbar over here, and we had an early discussion. We were talking about says, hey, you saw a lot of guys. Yeah. And they kept on doing, you know, either a side posture, lumbar push, pull. You know, they kept on trying to, you know, move that bone and it just wouldn't stick. Yeah. Right? So here's a story with that one. This is the model lumbar spine, right? This spinal nerve, actually, it is this big. Why? Because you need to run your bladder, the sexual organs, your intestines, your legs, knees, foot, all that nine yards. That's why it's big. Now, majority of the time when there's a trauma, it knocks backwards like this. And see that tunnel? It's starting narrowing. Your case, and that's what we see in this x-ray over here. See, it's wedged open like, like this. Right. That tells us, nope, yours did the fun part of going like this. So this is what we call the inferiority. It tilted backwards. It's like saying like, okay, you know, you're goofing up a, on a chair and you're leaning on the final two legs of the chair going way backwards like this, right? So as we see over here, that tunnel collapsed so much that the swelling starts to irritate that nerve over there. Right? So what we're going to do is we just can't just, you know, do a side posture, push or pull, you know, what you see on the benches. That's the reason why it just won't work. We got to do this on the prone on the knee chest table to really, we have to lift it and put it on top of this ball bearing right there. Okay. Because this really is like a ball. That's the reason why you try to push, pull, whatever it is, uh -uh, it's still going to be in this position. We got to lift it like that. That's the reason I feel unstable. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Let's get to work. Let us sink in. Sink a little more. 
Let it drop. A little more. There's a piece of it. Get a drop. A little more. Get a nice, nice your belly. A little more. Mm. There it goes. Come on up, champ. Walk around. Model. Yeah. All right. Feedback. How's it? Yeah. No. It, 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 to put, put it this way, there's nothing. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking for symptoms. I suppose down the left leg and stuff like that. I don't know how long it will take them to improve right like that. So it. Um, That's yeah, right. Uh, how like, is the on the side of the on that left leg? It's still. It's still there. Still. Still singing away. I think it's still. Still feels the same. I noticed the sciatica, just in case I'm, I'm kind of hesitant on feedback here. Usually when I notice sciatica, the only thing that kind of relieves it a little bit is when I walk. So I notice it most when I actually sit down for a minute. Just okay. kind of like that with left leg forward. It actually feels, it does feel a little bit better. Good. I really feel it feels about 20 or 30%. 20, 30% improvement, good. Yeah. Well, here's just play with that one, all right? Yeah. Uh, keep, bear in mind, the bone itself is not, that's not what's pinching the nerve. Yeah. It's all the swelling because remember, inflammation, that's a signal system. Yeah. So once again, when this disc is damaged itself, right? That's what inflammation is. It tells the body, you gotta go fix this area because yeah. this structure here, it's compromised and it's damaged like this. So one of the defense mechanisms is not only just some surrounding muscles crunch up to try yeah. to stabilize this thing because this yeah. is very unstable. Right. Number two, if all the surrounding tissue swells up. It's like an airbag. Yeah. Try to stabilize this more. Trade off for that airbag is that all that swelling pinches the nerve. Yeah. So that's what you're feeling. Yeah. Absolutely. So to help relieve that tension over there, and that's why you're only experiencing 20, 30 percent relief, you have to ice this. So when you ice it down 20 minutes, in your case, every two hours. Yeah. Because yeah. right, you're not, you're here a very short period of time. I actually did the icing last night after you done the second cor correction. At least each time I did the icing, it actually did feel, you know, it felt like I could go out and walk around and everything like that. Yeah. Just when it started to get hot again, I knew it was time for. Right. So that's why I want you, because we only have a very short period of time with you. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. So every two hours, 20 minutes, you got to ice it down. We got to pump all that fluid out of there. Right. Right? Because we just set this thing over here. Perfect. Right? Just from here, like this. But the problem is, you still so much swelling there. That's what's pitching that nerve. Perfect. So we got to get that swelling out of the way. Just take that pressure off that nerve. It's going to take some time. Absolutely. No, right? I thought that. Yeah, it's a, All it's right, a pretty champ. bad idea. That's it. I'll see you on Thursday. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Give us updates. How things everything going on? Okay, two days since uh, I saw you. So yesterday and uh, when I got back to the hotel room, I went crazy. I was icing, walking, icing, walking, kind of. Doing mm -hmm. monk, treat monk treatment of myself. Um, so I did the same yesterday. Yesterday morning when I got up, I was pretty stiff. Now I remember one thing you said to me yesterday, the, the day before, I went to hoop over and it's kind of, kind of hurts when I hoop over and he said, don't, <laughs> don't do that. So all yesterday, if I'm going, and this was before uh, during the injury, and this would mean about functional patterns, which I get into, when I was going down to pick up a pen, it would be absolute straight back, this type mm -hmm. of stuff. So yesterday I hadn't hooped my back all day. I was walking around and I felt pretty stiff so one thing I meant to ask you, is it okay to do that, is to kneel down on all fours and just gently just stretch the back kind of up and down. Very of, slowly. Very slowly is, yeah. is what I did. And I felt I, I needed it because when I did do it, it, it was very, really yeah. stiff. So I did it really, really slowly and it kind of subsided after about two or three, four goes really slow. So oh, sure. it was fine. So this morning when I got up, I really feel in my head I'm clearer as in this was a, a kind of a thing that was going on as well, which nobody understood with a lower back injury. I felt very foggy, confused, uh, kind of had vertical symptoms and stuff like that. So that kind of has, uh, for the first time last night and this morning, has cleared up when I was walking here. It was oh, much great. It was much sharper. Um, and my legs feel like they're my own again. As in before this, my body felt like it was in two halves. Yeah. I was in fighting constantly for, for balance and stuff like that. So. Nice, subtle differences. 
So uh, excellent. Yeah. So well, uh, let's see. Last visit, you were talking about a 20, 30 percent improvement in terms of the pain going on your left leg. 30, 20 improvement in that. When it went uh, back, it kind of seemed to wind back. So it's going, it's going up and down, a little bit of a roller coaster ride mm -hmm. in terms of that. My right leg feels a lot better. There's far less fasciculations in the right leg. That really feels very good. The left one, I noticed it last night when I was going to sleep, there's far less fasciculations as in when I lie down, it was nearly like mice crawling around my mm. calf muscles and stuff like that. So I was far less aware of it. I was able to get to sleep good. better last night. Um, so the only thing residual left, I haven't tried bending down, touching toes or anything like that, so I can't. <laughs> I can't give you an update on back pain. Uh, because I, I'm, I haven't tried that and I'm not going to be trying that. Mm -hmm. on, on that yeah, that thing really needs to heal up. I was like, you're flying tonight, so. Yeah, exactly. Um, so other than that, I do have a little bit of that kind of um, mm -hmm. strangling pain still going down into my calf muscle. Right. And what's what's weird uh, about it is, and it always was, it, always, it feels like my calf muscle is clicking. But mm -hmm. if you do put your thumb on it, and there is kind of that sciatic pain, if you do put your thumb on it, there's little strands within the calf muscle, mm -hmm. uh, the fibers right. that's not just releasing stuff like that. So no, when it does that is because of muscles they require your function. Yeah. So when it, when you we start to deprive it, as though it's a nerve being pinched off the source, yeah. the muscles they have a tendency to go they clench up a bit. Yeah. So that's what you're feeling right there, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And then when it, when there's like uh just like how they're as kids, you know, we start like, you know, like stomping on the garden hose, you know, the water cord hose, yeah. the water pulses, right? Yeah. Same story. That's why you feel that desiccation. All that muscle spasming a bit because yeah. you got some nerve function. You know, it's like flowing like that. Sometimes it just pulses. Yeah. Therefore, the muscles will start doing that too. Yeah. Right. So let's go. Let's take a look. See what's going on. Okay. And um, one other thing, um, clicking. I know. So when I usually when I when I lie down in bed at night, I have a habit of from going to sleep. I put them on my back. One of my legs. I was just kind of going to the side of this one, mm -hmm. and it was something I noticed anyway when I used to just kind of do. Kind of mobility drills for just putting my leg out to the side. Uh -huh. So if I put my right leg out to the side, no click in here. If I do the same with my left leg, you can feel it in your lower back, kind of so as muscle mm -hmm. uh, there, and the little bit of clicking in the knee, in the knee and the, the left. Gotcha. Uh, that's what that little bar is going on. Perfect. This is feeling pretty well here. Slightly reading, very slight. You've got two points to the left of it. See what we got. See how that fifth lumbar is. How's that fellow right there? Yeah, no pain, no pain. Was any the other day either, it just was so. Yeah. I see it. I see so a little bit of tenderness there, and um, not even pain, but. The sacrum is holding, but this fifth lumbar, there's one vector left that we need to fix. See, a lot of it's great, except here. Yeah. Right there. You can feel that. Yeah. Of the chain in that direction. Okay, so basically what happened was it was okay. Overall, that fifth lumbar on you went this way, yeah. went this way, wedged this way, and then it went inferior <laughs> this way. Okay, so basically right now we assess and test things out. Okay, a lot of it got corrected. Only thing left is a little bit towards the right and wedge this way. Okay. So that's what we feel right now. That's what I just tested over there. And it's a little bit backwards this way as well. So there's a little bit of this left in there. That's what we need to correct right now. Okay. Okay, that's a five. So this is your sacrum. It's a funky sacrum you got there. And that's why it's so small. Okay. Yeah, this is it. That's our thought. See, the moment you got into this position, 
that fifth lumbar spine has disappeared a bit. Okay. That's why I kept my finger right on it. Drop the belly. Can drop a little more. Yeah. See, we've got to be ultra precise. Okay, drop the belly a little more. Okay, take some of that slack out. There we go. Right there. Drop the belly a little more. Just let it go. A little more. There it is. Well, that actually felt very supple. Yeah, it is. Because there isn't that much left in that. All right, okay, have a seat. Hey, how do you like that? Yeah, that feels different. Yeah, see, now we've got full mobility in there. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. yeah. Significant improvement. Now, what I do feel in here, there's like 5% left of that inferiority still okay. in there, all right? So that means you do need a touch up. So since you're in Ireland, uh, the closest guns to doctors in Manchester. Okay. Ireland is a direct flight from uh, Ireland to Manchester as one way to do it. Or, you know, the Glenn Macy, Dr. Glenn Macy, he's in Manchester. Yeah. Okay, he's a guns to doctor, I recommend him. Uh, and the other guns to doctor in London, okay, is Glenn Cayley. Okay. I also recommend him as well. Okay. All right. But since I figure Manchester is closer to you, right, we'll give you a copy. He's actually over here. The listings will be done for you. The magic spots uh, keep you out of trouble. Perfect. I appreciate right. it. I was going to say, can the other doctor uh, pick up where you left off? You're so precise there on where you were uh, adjusting me, and I really felt it and immediately mm -hmm. felt the difference in mobility. And I'm just wondering if I didn't come back here which I wanted to do, and you very kindly even the last day, it says, no, if it's shorter flying time, go to Manchester. So I'm wondering, can the other doctor uh, pick up where you left off, or is it going to be difficult Absolutely. for him to? I don't recommend just anybody, okay? So, you know, us guys at Chiropractor, we're very close to the family. We pretty much know everybody in the whole entire world. Okay. Right? So, and there's also other guys at Chiropractor who have referred to Dr. Uh, Macy. Uh, to Manchester already, so we really vouch for his skills. Okay, right? so you'll be in good hands. Yeah, you, you'll be able to find the last five really percent. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I am absolutely unbelievably grateful for this man because before I came here, um, I had went through three years of absolutely no answers. Um, and even to walk away, even if I only got 15, 10, 5 percent, it didn't matter to have an answer of where to progress with it. It's absolutely brilliant. So I'm delighted. Thank you again. Oh, you're welcome.